Hey, you're back later than usual. Did you get yourself in trouble? Of course not. I, I was just joking with you, kid. Come on. I mean, you are usually home earlier, though, but I won't put it past you. So, anyways, how was your day? That's good to hear. I've been having a good day. So, what'd you do in school today? I'm just trying to make a little conversation. You don't have to tell me every detail, but I thought I'd just ask. I want to know what all the happening is with you. I mean, you're my child, so I would feel a little irresponsible if I didn't at least ask. But I can understand your want for privacy, so I'll just ask you this. What did you learn today at school? Oh, come on. Your old men can understand concepts. I'm smart, I swear. I mean, I'm an adult after all. Have to be. So go ahead. Tell me what you learned. Well, okay. Uh, all right, maybe you were right. I did not understand a single word that just came out of your mouth. Regardless, I went ahead and made you your favorite food so you can go ahead and eat it so you can get to your homework as quick as possible. What'd you just say? You already did your homework at the library? Wait a minute. Why would you go to the library if you have the internet at your fingertips? Why would you go to the library in general? Oh, mm, that makes sense. And you just stayed there to finish up the rest of your work. Huh, okay, okay, all right. Then I guess you should just eat up then. No need in having the food go to waste because you have no homework. I mean, I, I am sure you're hungry. You know, the fellows at the office had a lot to say about your recent activities at school. <laughs> Whoa, ghetto, calm your head. I was referring to your report card. You know, it came in today. All I'm saying is, you know, <laughs> they thought it was good. I, I mean, all A's. Ain't nothing really to be worried about or ashamed. You're doing good. Those at the office agree. So I, I, I really don't know what you're all flustered about. Well, I didn't mean to worry you. Uh, but you really shouldn't be worried unless you're doing something worthy of worry in school. Are you? All right, I'll believe you. It's not like you would lie to me. But I would like to remind you, if you have any important information to tell me, that you got in trouble or that you have any issues at school, I would like to hear it. I am your father, after all. I would be upset if you got in trouble at school. But I... It's not like I'm going to hurt you or anything. I would really just tell you how to fix the problem. Or how to approach it in a better manner. Well, uh, seems you've gone all quiet on me. Is it something I said? Oh, okay. Just making sure. Oh, you have something to tell me? You can tell me? Uh, just like corn, I'm all ears. Fine, I'll be serious. It, it's okay, no need to rush. You can take your time. Look, I understand. I'm your dad. It can be hard to approach me about whatever topic you're trying to bring up. Whatever it is, I don't know. 
I understand that. So you can just really just take your time. I need to rush. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh. Uh, all right. That's what you wanted to tell me? I don't know why you're so worried. You have a special someone. I mean, what possibly could be the problem with that? You're a teenager at this point in time. You're in school. I see no problem. As long as they're not, like, <laughs> overage. Is that why you're afraid to tell me about your partner? You thought I wasn't going. You thought I would, you know, be unaccepting of my own child. You thought I would be accepting of your sexuality? <laughs> I would, I would never. Let's just make that straight, uh, make that clear, rather, I guess. You're my kid. Always and forever. I I would be the scum of the earth for not to love and support you. I understand you probably have heard those horror stories about these terrible parents disowning their children for being themselves. Well, I'm not like that. I will always accept you and be proud of you. Unless you, like, murder someone. But you haven't. You haven't killed anyone, right? All right, then I have nothing to be ashamed of. And I, I, I'm I, proud of you for having the courage to tell me. I know that it can be hard. Hell, I doubt I could do it if I had to. I haven't, but... Uh, it certainly is difficult. But I do have one question. You didn't go to the library to get a book, did you? You went to see your special someone, didn't you? That's what I thought. That's fine with me. Uh, as I've said, you can be open and honest with me. I would like to meet your special someone one day. Just so I can approve of them, you know. I mean, that is my job, safeguard my child, but you can take your time on whatever. I just know I'm going to be here for you. I'm always going to be proud of you. <laughs>